but they just want clickbaity stuff that it's just they're so starved and they're so lack of creative that these 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 content creators they call themselves journalists but they're really just content creators these content creators just they just what a waste of life So I'm not really a big fan of people being doxxed. I think it's important that people's privacy is respected, but let's be honest, we are on the internet. And because you are on the internet, people are curious little cats and they like to do things like dox people and find out all their identities and put their identities all over the interwebs. Not that I would have any experience in this whatsoever. Guys, I have, I'm coming from a point of bias and a point of experience, having been doxxed and going through the experience not being that much fun. I'll tell you, guys, it's just there's like some rules on the Internet that should just be respected. Like ain't nobody's ain't nobody's life needs to be thrown out on display, you know, just because they like to promote an idea, a powerful idea, a life saving idea, an idea of the future. You know, like this idea of that busy Bitcoin, guys, right? That busy Bitcoin. Why are you, why, why you going to hurt the evangelists of the cause? Why, why, why are you, why are you going to make it hard for us people who just want to make the world a better place? That's all we want to do. We just want to make the world a better place, guys. That's all. Okay, 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 okay. We're done, we're done, we're done. All right, the Bored Apes identities have been revealed. The Florida man revealed to be behind Bored Apes. You guys have heard of that. Greg Solano and Willie Arnau are now faced behind Gargamel and Gordon Goner. The makers behind the Bored Ape Yacht Club, Bay C or B-A-Y-C. I'll just call them Bay C, Bored Ape Yacht Chub. <laughs> Bored Ape, did I just say Bored Ape Yacht Chub? What's Yop Chub? Bored Ape Yop Chub. <sighs> you guys can click that. Nope. Clip that. Golly, I'm all over the place, guys. The Bored Ape Yacht Club, Yop Club, are no longer a mystery. A BuzzFeed news report. Golly, the BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed ruins everything. Like, BuzzFeed is one of the best ways to ensure that your journalism isn't actually journalism. Reveals them as Greg Solano and Willie Arnau, two men in Florida. Solano is a 32-year-old writer and editor behind the pseudonym Gargamel, while the 35-year-old Arnau goes by, goes by Gordon Goner. After BuzzFeed's, who are terrible people and hu terrible human beings, article was posted, the two later responded to the situation with the Web2.me versus Web3me meme on Twitter in which you essentially compare the photo of yourself in the real world with an NFT or avatar that's supposed to represent you in the metaverse. And by the way, speaking of metaverse, guys, I cannot wait. Wait, wait, wait. I cannot wait to reveal my avatar on the metaverse. Surprise, motherfucker. Both Arno and Solano compare pictures of themselves with bored ape NFTs and say they've been doxxed. Man, I'll tell you, that's sad. BuzzFeed says it found Solano and Arno's information by searching public business records for Yuga Labs, the company behind Basie. It discovered that Yuga Labs has no, an address affiliated with Solano, and they uncovered their public records that connected Solano and Arno. Man, like, wh be, what is the point other than just mere public interest? You're not doing the world a favor, right? You're not doing the world a favor, and this is not reporting. This is not, this is not reporting. This is gotcha me. This is gotcha headlines, and just making other people's lives like most of, guys. The 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 news media world is so starved for for news, which is the, the irony of it, because there's tons of news out there, good stuff happening, but. They just want clickbaity stuff that it's just they're so starved and they're so lack of creative that these 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 content creators they call themselves journalists but they're really just content creators these content creators just they just what a waste of life 
Nicole Muniz, the CEO of Yuga Labs, confirmed to BuzzFeed that Solano and Arno are indeed the co-founders' true identities. BuzzFeed even dug up some of the old information on the web about the two, including Arno's Readers of the Week interview with the Chicago Tribune and Solano's critique of various pieces of literature. Interviews with outlets like Rolling Stone, New Yorker, and Coindesk help connect the dots between the duo's online personas and real-life stories, corroborating what we know about them. The two had met while growing up in Florida and dreamed up the idea of a Bored Ape Yacht Club in hopes of breaking into the world of cryptocurrency. In case you're wondering, Arno and Solano aren't the only ones who actually drew the, well, very, I guess, interesting looking and sometimes fashionable anthropomorphic apes. A 27-year-old who goes by the name of Seneca was a lead artist for the original Bored Apes collection and is credited with creating the apes' base design. There are also two Board Ape Yacht Club co-founders who remain unidentified, a couple of programmers who go by the names No Sass and Emperor Tomato Ketchup, which, if that was my name, Emperor Tomato Ketchup, I, actually, that's a, the more that I let the, that name sit, sink into my soul, the more I like it. Emperor Tomato Ketchup. Golly, what a boss. What a boss. Smoke weed every day. I didn't know what I was expecting, but I guess the Board Ape Yacht Club identity reveal was all a bit of less climactic than I hoped. But considering that the Bay Area Yacht Club, Bay Area, Board Ape Yacht Club, I'm going over this, Bay C has sold off millions of dollars worth of ape artwork, is partnering with companies like Adidas and has numerous celebrities, including Paris Hilton and Jimmy Fallon, to buy their NFTs, anticlimactic is probably a good thing. So... I find it ironic, let's just put it this way, I find it ironic that tech prides itself in security and identity, but paradoxically promotes transparency, would be the downfall of Board Ape Yacht Club. And this quote was from uh, PL, you know who I'm talking about. Thanks for the article, guys, on community.katina.1. Uh, Thank you for this article, P Peter. Sounds like I'm thanking myself, but it's actually one of our community members that po po posted this up there. But guys, uh, I it's it is it is kind of a love hate th love hate thing. While I mostly dislike and 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 openly somewhat disparage uh, journal journalists who are not journalists but actually content creators uh, like me, so I'm actually look. Most reporters today are just as terrible as I am as a content creator, right? They're just out there creating content, right? Trying to do clickbaity stuff. I don't try to do clickbaity stuff. I, I talk about stuff that I'm interested in and stuff that I'm building in and letting you guys know what I'm reading because what I'm reading informs my decisions of how I build my businesses, right? And so I care about these things, but you know, these reporters would never want to be brought down to my level of content creators, but that's what they are. They find a con piece of content, they grab a hold of it, create a snazzy title, and then make up some jazz, right? Uh, the problem is they're generally not very thoughtful, and they certainly don't do their research, and most of the time they're just wrong. But anyway, what do you guys say? Let me know in your comments below. Smash the like button. What do you guys say? Should they have been doxxed? Should we have let the board ape? Yacht Club guys live just like you should let let everybody else live and let live. I mean, isn't yeah. That's it, guys. That's it.